Hi everyone, welcome to your PDA. In this video, we are going to see how to apply for IIT Jodhpur MTech. Okay, the process is similar for MS and PhD also, but in MS and PhD, there is a requirement of SOP and all. SOP and all, right? So first, we'll see uh, this uh, MTech video. Subscribe this channel for uh, this kind of uh, more uh, information, right? So, is me am MTech ko kaise apply karna dekhenge? Pehle ap register karna padta apko, thik hai? So, if you are the first user, first of all, first time user, sorry, then you have to register, right? Yeah. Just if you open, then you get this kind of thing. IIT Indian Institute of Technology Jodhpur application for MTech application number. Yeah, you'll get application number like this, right? First, you have to register. How to register, sir? Yes, the process of registration will be like this. Yeah, register. Name of the applicant as per the last qualifying certificate. What is your last qualifying certificate? B.Tech, right? Or if you have done your M.Tech, you can take your M.Tech. Some people will want to do their double M.Tech. Yes, they can take uh, their uh, uh, M.Tech as the last qualifying certificate, right? Then your mail, date of birth, password, confirm password enter security code this uh, security code you enter then if you click on the register it is going to get registered this is the first step register you have to register for the first time right then it comes this way means that, that will automatically log out once that you get registered that will automatically log out then application for mtech enter your mail email and password password you given one password here password confirm password the same password you have to enter here then you log in once you log in, you get uh, these details. In the instead of uh, technology, Jodhpur Enterprise Resource Planning, ERP, right? Application for MTech application number. Once you register, no, this application number will generate, right? So, what are the requirements? Personal information, academic, photo and signature, payment, print application, application status, logout. Ye, these are the all the steps one by one. These are all the steps one by one, right? Observe it. Personal information, related information, files can be uploaded only after saving the data, right? Here, preference of disciplinary major center or school or course. So, here you have to select your discipline uh, in which you want to do your uh, masters, right? Uh, materials engineering, computer science engineering, integrated, uh, intelligent communication system, just, uh, uh, just uh, like that I selected, okay? What are the, what you want to select and for what you are eligible? Sir, how do you know that? Sir, I am from mechanical. Uh, for what uh, MTech courses I am eligible? A complete brochure related to this MTech uh, uh, spe specialization per branch, per department or is given. You can go through it. Uh, otherwise, contact Europedia. Europedia will help you. Right? Yes. Then, admission category very important. In admission category, there are three types. Full-time regular means those who are having gate score. Full-time regular. regular means uh, you will get uh, assistantship means uh, monthly stipend also full time regular second category is self sponsored self sponsored means uh, you won't get any stipend you won't get any stipend third category is uh, sponsored means if you, if you are working somewhere in some company if you are working in some company then the company will sponsor you to do your mtech for that definitely you must have noc by the company right you are working as a faculty in some university your university must give noc yes uh, if you want to go for mtech in self sponsor uh, sorry in sponsored not self sponsored sponsored or you are working in some corporate company your corporate company must give noc right then personal information name of the applicant in full okay aadhar number email date of birth mobile number blood group nationality are you a person with disability see if you are a person with disability you must have definitely your disability certificate right category general and you will be having here obc obc non criminal layer and you will be having sc st so these certificates suppose are ew also also ew also if you belong to obc you must have obc certificate that to latest one in the format provide in the format asked by this iit okay there is a particular format for that right uh, sir i do not have new obc certificate and even if i apply now it will take a lot of time for me to get then what can i do in that case you can upload your old obc certificate and in the last page of the old obc certificate you can give one declaration in that page means attach one page to the existing obc certificate and with your hands you write at the time of application uh, document verification i will provide new obc certificate and you sign there give self declaration 
right if you do not have certificate and this the same can be done if you are a final year candidate where it is asking you to upload your degree certificate or graduation certificate but you are in final year you do not have that certificate with you then you can put a, a, a bona fide certificate which is issued by your university or college again a problem comes here sir uh, last date is today or tomorrow my college will not provide this much early that certificate what can be done these are the important queries of the students okay in that case what you need to do is again self declaration uh, at the time of application see upload all your mark sheets upload all your mark sheets first thing right up to seventh semester then second thing you need to do is you need to give a declaration by saying that i will provide the graduation certificate or bona fide certificate at the time of certificate verification right yes these two are the very very important things and many students asking the same queries right then next uh, say everything save and continue save and continue next uh, gender marital status languages known name of the parent or guardian right relationship with the parent or guardian address your address right and uh, permanent address correspondence and address for communication and address for uh, uh, permanent address if both are same no you don't have to fill it again just you click on this box uh, then automatically it will get filled means your communication address and permanent address are same then just you click on this box right next save and continue once you go for save and continue now it is asking for yes a photo and signature photo and signature a photo very clearly it is mentioning width the minimum width 130 yes maximum width 150 minimum height 175 maximum height 200 signature also in the same way supported full type uh, so supported file type sorry it is dot jpg file right upload your photo choose your photo keep your photo in the downloads or on the desktop upload your photo and upload your signature then here it is very important it is asking for the statement of purpose even for mtech also iit jodhpur is asking for statement of purpose here your pedia helps you okay to write this statement of purpose the maximum number of words are 500 only do not write pages and pages of document only 500 words right then save and continue save and continue once you save and continue then it is going for gate examination details qualifying examination details gate so you see some people are having more than one gate score iits are accepting 2023 2024 2025 these three years gate score you can use uh, all three or any one of the two or only one means which one is having highest score that you fill first that you fill first then next right gate one upload certificate yes gate get the scorecard you need to upload registration number score marks out of 100 branch year of qualifying COAP registration number definitely you must have COAP registration number if you are applying to gate right without COAP registration number you can't fill the application right gate 2 if you have second gate score also you can fill it right like I declare that I do not have any work experience if you do not have any exp work experience you can put this box take it if you have a work experience you can write here about your work experience then save and continue right so yes that's all about uh, this uh, IIT Jodhpur uh, MTech uh, application. Once that is done, it will direct, it will direct you to once uh, after clicking that box of experience, no, it will direct you for payment, do the payment. Then, then here you must save your application. See here, photo and signature. After photo and signature, see personal information, academic photo and signature. In the academic, uh, you are having your uh, BTEC certificate, strength and everything, all the documents and uh, you need to apply gate scorecard, gate, gate related things and photo and signature payment. After payment, you, need to, you have to print your application. Then you have to see the application status, whether it is submitted or not, right? Then once it is done, you can log out, right? So that's all about uh, uh, MTech, MTech at IIT Jodhpur, right? Here, important things i repeat uh, once that is uh, if you do not have any category certificate like uh, obc ews or scst uh, new one if you are not having if they are they are asking new one okay if you do not have you do not worry okay you can upload the old one but uh, you need to put a declaration form in continuation to that second thing is you are in final year you do not have graduation certificate with you but it is asking for the graduation certificate then definitely what you have to do is uh, you must put a bona fide certificate from which is given by your college or university if you have, do not have even that also 
if you are unable to get then write a declaration that I, I will get my bona fides and upload all mark sheets up to seventh semester and you should not have any backlogs in that you must pass all subjects till your seventh semester right then uh, you can give a declaration I will be submitting the bona fide or graduation certificate at the time of certificate verification right so subscribe this channel for this kind of more information and if you have any query related to this uh, uh, mtech uh, application you can contact your pdf thank you